this is Lapino's doing? Lapino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lapino, it's... Alex? Alex! finally went down. I wanted to make real sure he'd stay that way. He was a bad monster. Turned them into friggin' zombie demons from outer space. I think he's dead already. Huh? And that's when it happened. For dead or not, you've got the wrong guy. In stepped this knockout femme fatale holding a gun to my face. I returned the favor. Lisa Punchinello. Lisa Punchinello was the Don's wife. Mona Sachs. Lisa's evil twin. Your safety's off, evil twin. You might hurt someone with that gun of yours. Lisa's the damsel in distress. I'm the professional. I'd blow you away without batting an eye. Sure. And you can check out my credentials splattered all over this joint. Jack couldn't have framed you. Not the state he was in. We're after the same slime bag. Angelo Quincinello is the one who murdered your friend and framed you with it. You know this for a fact? I've got my sources. I don't have a clue these days. I just shoot them as they come. Who put a contract on the Archfiend? This one's mine. I hate the guts of that sadistic wife-beater. Why not pool our bullets for this one? I thought you'd never ask. My finger was starting to twitch. How do you like your whiskey? I'm easy, as long as you don't try to slip me a Mickey. You're a real angel, Max. It was good stuff. Tasted sweet as honey going down. Nothing personal. Can't risk you going berserk and getting Lisa killed. <laughs> the nightmare was always the same. Violent shapes moving in darkness, old and ugly. The killer's mad laughter was a riddle filled with wicked innuendo. Somewhere, the baby was crying. snoring next to Lapino's corpse. A comedian, eh? The pictures were filled with good old times. Alex and I had a few moments of glory between us. Crime-fighting comrades, the best in NYPD DEA collaborative team. Good-hearted macho bullshit like that. I would have given anything to have him here as my backup. 
No such luck. No luck at all. Michelle looked at me from the photo. The Payne family. Happiness captured in a Polaroid moment. I had thought it would last forever. Till death do us part. I didn't want to think about it. As long as I didn't, it could never happen. But I had broken my own rule. The thought had already slipped in. Fear was rusty needles poking at my brain. Cold and scaly, it slithered down my chest. God, no. Slice them, dice them, shoot them full of holes, blow them to bits, vaporize them, disintegrate them. No matter what you do, they'll still be back. Good as new. Michelle's diary lay on the table. Michelle was working part-time in the district attorney's office. Her diary was open on today's entry, her handwriting all pretty curves. An army dossier found its way to my desk yesterday. Valhalla? Isn't that a Norse myth? Something about Vikings? I tried to tell Max about it, but he was busy, that cute frown on his brow. Guess it's nothing, just a mix-up at the courier service. From now on, I would always find time for her. It was a hollow promise. Too little, too late. <laughs> Max! No! Please, Max! Why? I didn't mean to! I'm sorry! That ever happens in the real world.
I woke up in a bad dream. My head felt two sizes too small for my brain. Max Payne. I envy your name. And the killer was smiling. Pleased to meet you. I'm Frankie to bat Niagara. Niagara, as in you cry a lot? He had a baseball bat and I was tied to a chair. Pissing him off was the smart thing to do. Nothing wrong with a little laugh now and then. Take me, for example. I love to watch cartoons. Cartoon violence is a fascinating thing. Let's take a break. I need to take a leak and maybe grab a cold one at the bar. Don't worry. I'll be back to finish this off. And then, it's checkout time. You play, you pay, you bastard. He swaggered out, and the door clanged shut behind him, locks clicking into place. Everyone makes mistakes. Mine hadn't been to crack jokes about the goon with the bat, he'd have cracked my skull regardless. It hadn't even been to trust a girl with a gun. I had blindly gone after the first bad guy on my hit list when I should have been aiming further up the ladder, at the head of the Punchinello family. I couldn't bring myself to be pissed at Mona. Guess I had a soft spot for a free face. But when somebody decides to play baseball with your head, you tend to get sore. They had dragged me back to the basement of Lupino's hotel. I was beaten, bruised, and blue. I felt like the chair I had broken to get free. All I had was Niagara's bat, sticky with my own blood. Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide-and-seek with them. It's Frankie's turn. We'll take care of him. Yeah, I know. I'm not having a go at him, I assume. It's Frankie's turn. Yeah, I know. I know that.
another newspaper caption for a murder scene. Frankie had left his calling card, a Captain Baseball Bat Boy strip, next to a sewer passage filled with bodies. You'd better not mess with Captain Baseball Bat Boy. Even my arch enemy, Bicycle Helmet Girl, swoons at the sight of me. Aha! There were enough corpses to put a mass murderer to shame. Things were fast going from bad to worse. The men in blue had come and gone. They had decorated the place with chalk outlines and tied it together with yellow tape. The cops who had stayed behind were dead. Frankie, his boys, and I had the place all for ourselves. Just forget about it. <laughs> just forget about it. Hey, just forget about it. That crazy witch, you should have heard her. She was a real scream when the boys caught her trying to cap the Don. Oh, that's friggin' bad. To the trio? That's even worse than what Frankie's doing to that poor bastard downstairs. She's gonna take a long time to die. The mobster muscle on the phone was talking about Mona. Punchinello's trio were nothing but bad news.
remains that all the victims so far identified in the Ragnarok shooting have been known criminals, many of whom had large doses of V in their blood. Reliable sources say that Max Payne was also among those killed, although no body has been recovered at this time. Reliable sources. That meant somebody thought the Mafia had me, didn't want the cops snooping around anymore. The body would be delivered to them barely recognizable. Case closed. Don Punchinello had the power to be that reliable source, which was no news. But his news was old news. Framing me hadn't been enough. Don Punchinello had put a hit on me. He wanted me dead, and it had been important enough for him to give written instructions to Frankie about it. Max Payne should die like a dog for the trouble he's caused. Frankie, I know I can trust you to give this matter the dedication it needs. The hotel bar was fast developing quite a history. True to his words, Frankie was there, having a beer. Jesus Christ. How the hell did you get loose? Got bored waiting. Thought, what the hell, we could just as well finish this here. Fine by me. This works out just as well. Thank you, you've been a lovely audience. Had enough? I don't play with girls anyway. Unfair! I spotted the tail as soon as I left the hotel. A big black Mercedes. I'd seen the car before. At that time it had heralded impressive explosions. Vladimir was back. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. I might have laughed if I remembered how. What's this supposed to be? Cops and robbers? Look, you want something with me? Get in line. Peace, man. Relax. You know you are a real news item. Armed and dangerous. I am going to make you an offer you can't refuse. <laughs> I've always wanted to say that. It's a bum rap. I've been framed. Eh, well, that's a moot point. Whatever you did or did not do, I'm sure you had good reason for doing it. Want to hear me out? I'm listening. <laughs> 